Marine ecosystem provides many benefits for humans. It provides ecosystem goods such as fish and other commodities, ecosystem services such as nursery habitat, tourism and transportation, as well as cultural benefits, carbon sequestration and religious significance. At the same time, marine areas have been under pressure since the coastal area has been a place where more than a third of Earth's human population lives, exploits, and builds urban areas. Changing climate will impact the structure and function of the ocean, as the pH, dissolved oxygen, and food availability decrease. Therefore, managing the world's marine ecosystem can be done by reducing the threat while managing the potential of the marine ecosystem surface. The establishment of Marine Protected Areas or MPAs in the world projected to protect the biodiversity of important species, preserve fish as foodstuffs, as well as give benefit to the world's coastal area communities in the future. All over the world, only 7.2% of the ocean that has been conserved. IUCN mentioned that an MPA will function well, with good design, adequate protection, good governance, and effective management. One of many activities that is developed is ecotourism, or also known as sustainable tourism. Currently, most of tourism activities done in marine conservation areas are about diving and observing underwater life, while developing ecotourism needs to consider adaptation for change. Therefore, the prospective tourism activities are the one involving local people's day-to-day -day livelihood and make it as tourism experience. It will diversify livelihood and improve the creative industry, which creates a more inclusive economic activity in the area. Hello, my name is Alexandra Maiswan Maskita. I'm from Université Côte d'Azur, MSc Marais Program. For my first year internship, I'm supporting a startup called Blue Finance, which has four main focuses community development, wildlife monitoring and conservation, revenue development program through sustainable ecotourism, blue carbon and responsible aquaculture, and MBA compliance. One of their partners is Tombotika Foundation in Indonesia. They are a non profit organization of Tombotika Daploch, which aims to protect biodiversity and involve local people in sustainable development. They built a partnership agreement with Marine and Fisheries Department of Central Sulawesi Province on communicating 244.6 km square of the total Banggai, Banggai Sea, and Banggai Archipelago conservation area. Currently, they develop educational activities on marine conservation and work on waste management with the locals. Together with the government, they communicate about the protected areas and afterward, having a fisheries compliance monitoring with the law authorities. My main internship objective is mainly on ecotourism and effective management of MPA. I contributed on tourism destination analysis, tourist perception research on willingness to pay and willingness to participate, I also help with the biophysical aspect of tourism carrying capacity and recommendation of having a participative implementation in the future. I supported also deeper information on fisheries regulation, destructive fishing, and law enforcement. This internship project with Blue Finance gave me a deeper understanding for MPE implementation and the perspective of how conservation can be developed through co-management between the private sector and the government. Thank you for listening.